uh, we will consume it when we will consume the plant so that cellulose will enter into the animal body okay then what about the starch so starch it is formed by condensation of amylose and the amylopectin so it is uh, found in the plants in the fruits in the seeds they will be present the next one is the inulin inulin it is made up of number of uh, fructofuranols and they will be, uh, get linked with each other by, by the glycosidic bond so these are present in the tubers of dahlia i had already told you dahlia asparagus in the tuber of this dahlia and asparagus this inulin is present okay understood beta yes ma'am to ye sare names jo hai na aap dhyan mein rakhna and where they are present that you should know about it then polysaccharides uh, heteropolysaccharides means the uh, the when polysaccharide is made up of different types of monosaccharides mm -hmm. linked with each other then it is called as heteropolysaccharide so hetero the examples of heteropolysaccharides they are the hyaluronic acid heparin then chondro uh, chondroitin four sulfate uh, and uh, gamma globulin these are different types of heteropolysaccharides so a hyaluronic acid it is made up of uh, d -glucon uh, gluconic acid and uh, n acetyl uh, glucosamine so uh, here this is found in the connective tissues in the skin as well as it is found in the um, ovum also in corona radiate then heparin heparin it is made up of d uh, glu glucuronic and uh, l aduronic acid it is also present in l sulfo d glucosamine and uh, it is present in the mast cells and blood also then uh, ye, uh, it act as a anticoagulant heparin okay then uh, chondroitin four sulfate so these are made up of uh, d glucuronic acid and the uh, n acetyl d galactosamine for uh, galactosamine okay so here it is present in the cartilages so the flexible part that that is made up of cartilage and in that cartilage they will be present then last one is the gamma globulin So gamma globulin uh, and as, uh, acetyl hexosamine d mannose or d galactose they are made up of this so these are the component of this uh, um, gamma globulin and this gamma globulin they are present in the blood which are responsible for formation of antibodies so you know about the antibodies because now um, the this antibody word is continuously um, means we are hearing this word continuously corona antibodies and all that the so antibodies you know about well then functions of this polysaccharide so i had already told you that it is the structural and storage form of uh, uh, it has a two main function na? one is it gives uh, energy stored energy and uh, second it is the main structural component that we had already seen uh, beside this uh, here it will maintain the nutrients and the water update in the cell okay uh, most of the polysaccharides they will uh, make bond with either lipids or proteins and then Uh, if they are making bond with the lipids then they are called as glycolipids if they are making bond with the proteins then they are called as glycoproteins so these glycoproteins and glycolipids they will uh, send messages or signals between the two cells or they may form signals within the cell also and they will provide support to the cell 
सेल वॉल दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ पॉलीसेक्रेट सेलुलर तो दिस ऑल आर द एग्जांपल ऑफ इट एंड व्हाट अबाउट इन अदर्स तो इन फंगी चिटिन व्हिच इज अ मेन सेल वॉल व्हिच विल प्रोटेक्ट देम तो दैट इज आल्सो मेड अप ऑफ दिस पॉलीसेक्रेट अगेन the in the wall of insect that is also made up of chitin and this chitin will protect them to here uh, cellulose and chitin both uh, are the structural poly, uh, polysaccharides and both are uh, structural polysaccharide which will contain uh, thousands of monosaccharide monomers and uh, to they will form uh, long thread like structure the only difference between these two polysaccharide is side chain which is attached to the carbon ray to so in chitin glucose monosaccharides they have modified with the group containing more carbon nitrogen and the oxygen the side chain Uh, they will create dipole which will increase the hydrogen bonding and in cellulose they will produce hard structure uh, like a wood like a chitin and they will provide a uh, harder structure so shell limestone even marbles they will also comprise this polysaccharide okay so cellulose will be present in that both these polysaccharides they will form long linear chain these chains they will uh, deposit outside the cell membrane some proteins and other factors they will help this uh, help for making that fiber webs so because of it it will become complex uh, in a complex shape okay to so, uh, this is about the cellulose and chitin do you understood yes ma'am next one is the glycogen so uh, most important storage polysaccharide in the human being and in the animal that is the glycogen and in the plant that is the starch so we had already discussed about the starch yesterday now let's see about the glycogen so actually glycogen and starch both are produced uh in animals as well as uh, plants respectively and these polysaccharides they will form the uh, st- central starting point and the then spiral outward will be present due to their continuous branching uh, structure or the pattern we can say so with the help of these proteins uh, individual polysaccharides they will form the large branch molecules and then they will form either cluster or the granules so this can be seen uh, in the specially glycogen that will be seen in the animal body when glycogen molecule it will get broken down with the help of some enzyme so it will uh, form center and then it will act as a excessive branching so here monosaccharides can be quickly extract from that polysaccharide and that will get utilized for the energy purposes there therefore this glycogen we called as a store storage of energy so uh, generally jo difference hai starch aur glycogen ka 
तो वो ब्रांचिंग में ही है नंबर ऑफ ब्रांचिंग दैट आर ऑकर इन पर मोलिक्यूल्स तो दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ पॉलिसक्राइट दे विल फॉर्म बॉन्ड हियर एंड डिफरेंट एनसाइम्स दे एक्ट ऑन द मोलिक्यूल्स तो इन ग्लाइकोजन ब्रांच ऑकर every 12 or uh, so residues and uh, in the starch they will occur only every 30 uh, residues so this is the basic difference between the starch and the glycogen otherwise both have most probably the same structure do you understood beta this is all about the polysaccharide and कार्बोहाइड्रेट नाउ द यस्टरडे आई हैड टोल्ड यू कि वी विल रिवाइज आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस कार्बोहाइड्रेट वी विल रिवाइज द एनसाइम्स तो आई एम गोइंग टू रिवाइज एनसाइम्स ओके तो डू यू रिमेम्बर वॉट इज एनसाइम तो एक्चुअली एनसाइम्स दिज आर द सोल्यूबल कोलाइडल organic catalyst and they are form in the living cells special they are very specific in their action they are made up of proteins and they are inactive at 0 degree celsius they may get destroyed either by moist or by heat or at 100 degree celsius temperature so here there are uh, different terms which we use to intracellular enzymes what do you mean by intracellular enzyme intra means inside the enzy enzymes which are used in the cells which are made by them and they may be called as a intracellular enzyme so these enzyme they will uh, considered as a organic ferments then extracellular enzymes so enzymes which are produced by other cells are uh, they are secreted to the other part of the body then they are called as extracellular enzymes so these enzymes they are considered as unorganized ferment organized ferment uh, intracellular unorganized extracellular then zymes secretion what is zymes secretion so extracellular enzyme uh, which is secreted uh, ready for the action to se secrete ho gaye extracellular enzymes aur turant jo hai to wo ready ho gaye action perform karne ke liye so then they are called as zymes secretion so jo saliva mein amylase naam ka enzyme hota hai that is the example of it. then zymogen uh, secretion so what do you mean by zymogen secretion so enzyme which is secreted in inactive form and then they will become activated by some agent and these agents will secrete by the cells then they are called as zymogen secretion so uh, trip trypsinogen which is present in the pancreatic juice so that is uh, in uh, uh, that is present in inactive form then it will get activated by the enterokinase this enterokinase it is the enzyme which is secreted by the intestinal mucosa and then it will become uh, this trip trypsinogen will become active uh, and that will convert into trypsin so trypsin it, it will be active uh, prothrombinogen prothrombogen uh, prothrombinogen it is uh, plasma protein which is present in the blood and it is also present in inactive form so it will get activated by the thromboplastin which is uh, present in the tissues in your tissues that they secrete this um, thromboplastin and then this uh, prothrombinogen it will convert into thrombinogen due to the, the uh, process of um, blood clotting process takes place so these are some example of theek okay? hai to zymogen secretion is that is probably uh, it is the protective mechanism na uh, as uh, it will prevent the digestion of cell wall and the duct and it is most probably found in the uh, 
प्रोटीन स्प्लिटिंग एंजाइम्स तो प्रोटीन स्प्लिटिंग एंजाइम्स में वो ज्यादातर देखने के लिए मिलते देन नेक्स्ट द टर्म सबस्ट्रेट व्हिच आई हैड टोल्ड यू तो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय सबस्ट्रेट द सब्सटेंस द ऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंस ऑन व्हिच एंजाइम इज एक्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सबस्ट्रेट ठीक है तो माल्टोज इट इज द सबस्ट्रेट so on this maltose maltase enzyme will act so this is the example of it so here um, tylin pepsin trypsin irepsin to inko chode to baki ke jo enzymes hai to uh, unke aage jo hai ek suffix laga hota hai a s e theek hai to yahan par maltase which will maltase ase so that will act on maltose lactase will act on lactose lipase will act on uh, lipids that is uh, then carbohydrate carbohydrate is that will act on the carbohydrate proteases that will act on the protein amylases that will act on the um, um, starch which is also called as amylum and uh, here there are some uh, substances which are acted on by some enzyme in a different jaise ki yahan par jo hai to dipeptides ye jo hai ye attack uh, attach hote hai three enzymes se to wo jo enzymes hai wo depend hote hai ki unke functions kaise theek hai तो यहाँ पर हम उसके बारे में अभी डिस्कशन करेंगे तो डायपेप्टाइड जो है दैट कैन बी हाइड्रोलाइज बाय डायपेप्टिडेज एंजाइम तो दिस डायपेप्टिडेज एंजाइम विल कन्वर्ट दिस डायपेप्टाइड इनटू अमाइनो एसिड द फ्री अमाइनो एसिड ग्रुप ऑफ दिस अमाइनो एसिड दे विल रिमूव बाय सम अनादर एंजाइम एंड द फ्री कार्बोक्सिल एंजाइम इट विल बी रिमूव बाय अगेन Uh, different another uh, enzyme so in this way on one substrate on this dipeptide three enzymes they are acting dipeptidase enzyme deaminase enzyme which will act on the amino group and the decarboxylase enzyme which will act on the carboxyl group samajh mein aa raha beta yes ma'am theek hai uh, then we will see the next uh, another uh, enzyme that uh, now we are going to see to so, uh, some enzymes they are named as per their function so which per function they are performing on basis of it they are uh, classified or they they have given their names okay to so, Uh, like uh, transferases enzyme so transferases enzyme uh, it is responsible for transformation then dehyd uh, dehydrogenase enzyme so dehydrogenase enzyme it is responsible for dehydrate then hydrolysis enzyme hydrolysis enzymes they are responsible for hydrolysis process oxidase enzyme they are responsible for oxidation reductase enzyme they are responsible for reductase so like that ki on basis of function they are performing these are uh, given the name like that so many enzymes with same function they will act on the one substrate and therefore they will better to specify by their source them so uh, like they say uh, amylase amylase enzyme uh, it is a uh, Uh, present in the saliva it is also present in the pancreas so uh, we give the name like pancreatic amylase then uh, bone phosphatase enzyme liver enterase enzyme to yahan par uska source jo hai wahan se jo hai to ye name diye gaye some enzymes they act on substrate uh, for really described by the adjectives so jaise 
अमाइलो लाइटिक या लाइपोलाइटिक है या प्रोटीओलाइटिक है तो ऐसे एडजेक्टिव जो है वो हम डिस्क्राइब करते हैं तो इस तरह से अलग अलग एंजाइम्स जो है उनके नेमिंग्स दिए गए हैं ठीक है नाउ लेट्स सी अबाउट द कैटेलिटिक आर एन तो सर्टन आर एन एज शो हाईली सबस्ट्रेट स्पेसिफिक कैटेलिटिक एक्टिविटी to these rna they will satisfy the classical criteria for definition of the enzyme which we had seen already and they are considered as a ribozymes so ribozymes catalyze trans uh, esterification and finally hydrolysis of phosphodiester bond in the rna molecule यहाँ पर राइबोसाइंस जो है तो ये स्प्लिटिंग करेंगे ठीक है ट्रांस स्टेरिफिकेशन का और बाद में जो है तो वो हाइड्रोलिसिस करेंगे फॉस्फोडाइस्टर बॉन्ड का आर एन ए मोलिकल्स में तो ये जो रिएक्शंस है ये रिएक्शंस जैसे फास्टली हो सकती है होती है क्यों क्योंकि वहां पर जो है तो फ्री हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप प्रेजेंट होता है राइबोसाइंस दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन द एंट्रॉन स्प्लिटिंग इवेंट्स जब डीएनए का कन्वर्शन आर एन ए में होता है तो जो नॉन जेनेटिक जो एक्स्ट्रा के जीन्स होते हैं तो उसको रिमूव किया जाता है वो जो रिमूव होता है उसको हम इंट्रॉन कहते हैं और ये जो इंट्रॉन स्प्लाइसिंग की प्रोसेस होती इंट्रॉन स्प्लाइसिंग की जो प्रोसेस होती है तो उसमें राइबोसाइंस का काफी अच्छा रोल होता देन लेट्स सी अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस एंजाइम्स तो दिस एंजाइम्स दे आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू डिफरेंट सिक्स मेजर क्लासेस तो दिस सिक्स मेजर क्लासेस आर द फर्स्ट वन इज द ऑक्सीडो रिडक्टेजेस एंजाइम्स oxido reductases enzymes enzymes which will catalyze oxido reduction means here redox reaction between two substrate so these enzymes they can be grouped into many different ways here three main groups can be uh, explained most probably so one is oxidases the enzymes which use oxygen as hydrogen acceptor so they are tyrosinase then cytochrome oxidase uricase these are the examples of it then anaerobic dehydrogenase so anaerobic which are not required for uh, means which will be act in the absence of oxygen and dehydrogenation means oxidation it is also called as dehydrogenation so anaerobic dehydrogenation uh, genesis enzyme uh, the enzyme which will uh, use some other substance as a hydrogen acceptor for example malate dehydrogenase enzyme or the succinate dehydrogenase enzyme lactate dehydrogenase enzyme these are the example of it then uh, hydroperoxidase enzyme hydroperoxidase enzyme the enzymes which use hydrogen peroxide then as a substrate so then they are called as hydro uh, hydroperoxy um, hydro peroxidase enzyme so example of it are the peroxidase catalase these are the example of it the next one is the anaerobic dehydrogenase so anaerobic dehydrogenase the enzyme which will use Uh, either oxygen or another substance as a hydrogen acceptor then they are called as aerobic dehydrogenase enzyme so example of it are d and l amino acid oxidase then xanthione oxidase um, aldehyde oxidase these are the examples of two uh, other groups are also there in in this to so, um, oxido reductase so one is oxygenases the enzyme which will act on 
simple hydrogen donor uh, with the uh, oxygen so then they are called as uh, oxygenases so tryptophan oxygenase is the example of it then uh, second is hydroxy uh, lases so enzyme which will act uh, on the paired donors with the with incorporated of oxygen so here uh, ye jo hai in uh, jo paired donors the to so that, that will convert into one donor so example of it is steroid hydroxylase enzyme phenylalanine four hydroxylase enzyme these are the example of it then the second group is the transferase enzyme jo transfer karenge unko hum transferase enzyme kehte hain so this uh, catalyze the transfer of some group or radicals especially r from one molecule to another molecule so here uh, the examples of them are trans phosphorylase enzyme to so, naam se hi to pata chal raha na wo kya kaam karenge they will transfer the uh, trans phosphorylase na phosphorus ko transfer karenge to so, hexokinase phospho glucomutase phospho glycerate kinase these are the example of it then uh, second is trans glycosidase so example of them are the phosphorylase third is trans aminylase to so, glutamate pyruvate transaminase aspartate amino trans uh, transferase these are the example of it then trans um, acylase so trans acylase example of it are the choline acetyl transferase then acetoacetate trans acetylase amino acid trans acetylase these are the example of it so uh, like that we have to uh, know the different enzymes beside this one more that is the trans methyl uh, methylase to uh, this all as they are transferring group or the radical so they are the transferase enzyme the mm -hmm. third uh, group is the hydrolysis so hydrolysis the enzyme catalyzing hydrolysis of ester uh, ether peptide then uh, glycosyl acid anhydride ye jo hai तो इनका हाइड्रोलिसिस होता है बाय एडिशन ऑफ वाटर तो दिस ग्रुप दे विल इंक्लूड एक्स्ट्रा सेल्युलर डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द इंट्रा सेल्युलर एंजाइम्स आल्सो तो एंजाइम्स व्हिच विल एक्ट ऑन द ग्लाइकोसिल कंपाउंड्स दे आर द बीटा गैलेक्टोसाइडेज एंजाइम देन बीटा डी गैलेक्टोसाइड Uh, which will convert into the alcohol and the d-galactose so enzyme which will act on the peptide bond so that is the pepsin renin then chymotrypsin these are the example of it after that uh, the next one is the esterase enzyme so mm. ester enzyme they are the lipase enzyme phosphatase enzymes then uh, sulfatase enzyme amidase enzyme urease arginase glutaminase ye name aapko acche se dhyan mein rakhna hai beta hydrolytic deaminase enzymes ke example kya rahenge guanine deaminase enzymes मोनोमेरिक एंजाइम्स में जो है तो राइबोन्यूक्लियस एंजाइम आता है ट्रिप्सिन कार्बोक्सी पेप्टाइड एंजाइम का नेम आता है ऑलिगोमेरिक में एसिटेलको एंजाइम ए कार्बोक्सिलेस एंजाइम लैक्टेज डिहाइड्रोजेनेस एंजाइम तो ये ये सारे जो है ये हाइड्रोलिसिस एंजाइम के एग्जाम्पल्स ठीक है देन द फोर्थ वन इज द आइसोमरेजिस एंजाइम तो आइसोमरेजेस एंजाइम द एंजाइम विच विल कैटेलाइज द इंटर कन्वर्शन ऑफ ऑप्टिकल 
ज्योमेट्री और पोजिशनल आइसो तो रेसिमेसिस एंड द एपीमरेसिस इसके एग्जाम्पल है एलानिन रेसिमेज एंजाइम देन सिस ट्रांस आइसोमरेजेस का एंजाइम है रेटिनिन आइसोमरेज एंजाइम देन एंजाइम विच विल कैटेलाइज इंटर कन्वर्शन ऑफ अल्डोजिस एंड किटोजिस तो उसका एग्जाम्पल है ट्रायोज फॉस्पेट आइसोमरेज एंजाइम डी ग्लिसराइड डिहाइड थ्री फॉस्पेट ये जो है तो इसका कन्वर्शन होता है डाइहाइड्रोक्सी एसिटोन फॉस्पेट देन लाइस जो फिफ्थ ग्रुप है दैट इज द लाइसिस तो लाइसिस एंजाइम दैट विल कैटेलाइज द रिमूवल ऑफ ग्रुप फ्रॉम द सबस्ट्रेट बाय मेकेनिज्म ऑफ हाइड्रोलिसिस लिविंग द डबल बॉन्ड तो अल्डिहाइड लाइसिस जो है इसका एग्जाम्पल है अल्डोसिस अल्डोलिस एंजाइम और किटोज वन फॉस्पेट जो है तो वो क्या करता है तो वो डाइहाइड्रोक्सी एसिटोल फॉस्पेट और अल्डिहाइड फॉर्म करता है कार्बन ऑक्सीजन लाइसिस जो है तो उसका एग्जाम्पल है फ्यूनरेज फ्यूमरेज एंजाइम ठीक है तो द लास्ट ग्रुप विच इज प्रेजेंट हियर दैट इज द लाइगेज एंजाइम लाइगेज का मतलब होता है सीलना बाइंड करना ठीक है तो द एंजाइम्स विच विल कैटेलाइज द लिंकिंग ऑफ टू कंपाउंड दो कंपाउंड को लिंक करने वाले जो है तो वो लाइगेसिस एंजाइम रहते हैं ठीक है ठीके? तो यहाँ पर जो है देर विल बी ब्रेकिंग ऑफ पॉलीफोस पायरोफोस्पेट बॉन्ड इन द ए टी पी और इन द सिमिलर कंपाउंड विल बी देर तो एंजाइम्स विच विल कैटेलाइजिंग फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सी एस बॉन्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल सक्सिनेट थाज एंजाइम जी तो हियर द नेक्स्ट वन इज द एंजाइम विच विल कैटेलाइजिंग फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कार्बन एंड नाइट्रोजन बॉन्ड तो उसका एग्जाम्पल आएगा ग्लूटामाइन सिंथेटिज एंजाइम देन एंजाइम विच विल कैटेलाइज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड तो उसका एग्जाम्पल आएगा एसिटिलको एंजाइम ए कार्बोक्सिलस एंजाइम तो ये जो नेम्स है ये नेम्स आपको अच्छे से ध्यान में रखना है बेटा कि किसका एग्जाम्पल कौन सा है ठीक है डू यू अंडरस्टूड डू यू अंडरस्टूड यस मैम ओके नाउ लेट सी अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज तो प्रॉपर्टीज जो है एंजाइम्स दे आर प्रोटीन ये सबसे पहली प्रॉपर्टी है तो uh, यहाँ पर अमाइनो कार्बोक्सिल एंड द सेल्फ हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप ऑफ द साइड चेन of the amino acid they are available for linking between the polypeptide chain then uh yahan par jo hai to ye jo uh, polypeptide chain ban rahi hai ye jo linking ho raha hai to jaise ki uh, imidazole ring form hona ya alcoholic group jo hai to serine ka uh, jo banta hai to ye bhi jo hai union करने के लिए सबस्ट्रेट और एंजाइम का यूनियन करने के लिए रिस्पॉन्सिबल होता है तो दिस ग्रुप दे आर टर्म एज द एक्टिव ग्रुप एंड द रीजन ऑफ प्रोटीन सर्विस एट विच दे विल बी लोकेटेड तो दैट साइट इज कॉल्ड एज एक्टिव सेंटर तो थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी इज दैट द एंजाइम सबस्ट्रेट कॉम्प्लेक्स थेरी एज्यूम द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एंजाइम एंड सबस्ट्रेट देन Uh, liberated the enzyme and the uh, reaction uh, products. So, यहाँ पर जब भी कोई substrate जो है, ये substrate um, पर enzyme की जब action होती है, तो enzyme separate हो जाएगा क्योंकि से enzyme जो है, तो that will not participate. तो enzyme separate हो जाएगा और new product, यानी substrate complex, जिसको हम product कहेंगे, तो वो form होगा बाद. So uh, the fourth property is that ki in many cases uh, series of reaction may be involved uh, in the addition of uh, any enzyme takes place. So, just uh, say A will convert into B, B will convert into C, C will convert into D, D will convert into E, like that. The series of reaction will takes place. The next property is alkaline phosphate is. hydrolyzes number of phosphate esters and they will produced orthophosphate and alcohol group 
तो यहाँ पर जब ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट है इसके ऊपर में एंजाइम की एक्शन होगी तो इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू ग्लूकोज प्लस अर्थोफॉस्फेट देन सिक्स प्रॉपर्टी इज दैट फ्रॉम एनी एनर्जी स्टैंड पॉइंट एंजाइम रिएक्शन दे विल डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री क्लासेस वन इज एक्सटेरोगोनिक रिएक्शन मीन्स देर विल बी सिस्टम देर विल बी लॉस ऑफ फ्री एनर्जी मॉलिक्यूल्स टेक्स प्लेस हियर तो लाइफ पेज कैटेलेज यूरियज दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इट द नेक्स्ट देर इज लिटिल चेंज इन द फ्री एनर्जी एंड द रिएक्शंस विल कम इन टू इक्विलिब्रियम so that the product molecule and the substrate molecule they will be present in the constant amount so example of it is the glycogen plus inorganic phosphate will gives rise to glucose 1 phosphate under the influence of uh, phosphorylase enzyme then uh, endergonic uh, reaction means the supply of energy in order to produce the reaction many enzymes they are conjugated proteins the prosthetic uh, groups means coenzymes they are readily detached these enzymes they have special role in the metabolic processes the enzymes they will catalyze or uh, and peroxidize um, have cofactors but these are, are not the coenzymes so these all are the properties of enzyme okay do you understood beta yes ma'am yes ma'am uh, the enzyme specificity is there that we will see tomorrow um, because uh, i have to take that and uh, um, factors which will affect this enzyme so these topics we will take it tomorrow okay thank okay, you okay ma'am one minute huh? so do you have any difficulty regarding this this topic yes do you want to ask any questions regarding this enzyme can i leave then yes ma'am okay so thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am okay bye